For the last 30 years, the Center for Disease Control has contributed over $2 billion towards improving the health of Ugandans through various health initiatives and projects. This investment has gone towards the training of health professionals, detecting and preventing disease outbreaks and accreditation of laboratories, among other things. After three days tracking the impact of these initiatives on Ugandans, the director of the U.S. Center for Disease Control, Dr. Rochelle Walensky, was keen to determine whether the investment into fighting HIV-AIDS in the country had had the right impact. Investments in infrastructure towards HIV and AIDS have been leveraged in other areas of care. Um, those return on investments are huge because they're not just with HIV and AIDS, but they're all over health, similarly with global health security, and, and seeing that firsthand has been invaluable. You know, the goal is we want to work ourselves out of a job. Um, we want the government, the countries in which we're working, those governments to take in, you know, greater and greater ownership of the programs and that also requires, it's not just about money, um, it requires good governance, it requires transparency, uh, addressing corruption, developing the economy. However, Dr. Walensky observes that it's equally important for the country to invest more funds into border health in order to counter disease outbreaks. The scaling up of um, personnel who understand how to look for and, um, and detect potential disease threats, and those are personnel who work at the border. This is in addition to sensitizing local communities on how to detect diseases. Um, at the community level, what a loved one who might not be feeling well could potentially be um, infected with and to get them care early um, and to protect their families. And the village health team volunteers who stop into the health centers and pick up information and take it back to their communities and report is an incredible strength. The Minister of Health revealed that efforts had already been made in this direction, but there are gaps that still need to be addressed. We are trying to make sure we have many people trained and all the partnerships and the people the U.S. government has been a funding has majority gone to build capacity of our staff. The other key element we are observing and strength of Uganda is using the intelligence information. Government has also been reminded to continue encouraging COVID-19 vaccination as part of efforts to combat COVID-19 in the country. And so um, I would just continue to encourage the prevention measures that we know work, masking, vaccination, um, to prevent infection um, and to prevent severe disease. Last year, Minister of Health Dr. Jenotha Cheng revealed that her ministry would need about 131 billion shillings to invest in border health infrastructure. Joyce Nakato, NTV Weekend Edition.